G'day everyone, Robbie here. Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make your own plant steroid fertilizer in your own backyard using something that's grown in a lot of people's backyards. Wouldn't it be great to have something growing in your yard that a lot of people already have growing in their yard that you could actually use as a really good fertilizer that's gonna really encourage and help the growth and stimulate your plants to grow a lot healthier and a lot quicker. I've been using this method for quite a few years now and I've found that it's really helped the health and the growth and the fruit production of a lot of my fruit trees. I mainly only use it on my fruit trees, I don't really use it on the vegetables but you could also use it on your veggies as well. And it may not have surprised you that aloe vera is going to be the main ingredient today. This is an absolutely amazing plant that can be used for so many different things. This plant is loaded with natural hormones, natural growth stimulants. These hormones are called gibberellins and auxins. And this plant is absolutely loaded in them and it's going to really boost the growth and the health of your plants that you're going to use it on. Okay guys, the first thing you want to do is find yourself a large container that you can put some water in. Ideally rainwater out of a rainwater tank, but if you're on town water, just fill it up and leave it in the sun for a couple of days just to get that chlorine out of it and then she's all ready to all right ready to go. Then you just simply get your um, leaves off your aloe vera plant, just snap them off and just break them up. Pretty much juices in these. Just squash them up with your hands. And just work it into the water. Get all that gel out. I just fertilize my aloe vera in my pot, just as any other plant. So you fertilize your aloe vera plant and then you turn your aloe vera into fertilizer. Just use your organic fertilizers like Charlie Carp, Fish Emulsion, Dynamic Lifter. They're the main two fertilizers I use in my garden. I'm just going to go and break off probably about six of these stalks for about this amount. They're big stalks and I'm just going to work it all in. Squeeze out all that gel. Amazing how much moisture is in these. Very amazing stuff, this aloe vera. Use it for so many different things. Use it for grafting, use it for promoting roots on cuttings. You can put this stuff in smoothies and drink it. Super, it's like a superfood. Please note that all types of aloe vera are not edible. So make sure you check to see what type of aloe vera you've actually got and what parts of it you can actually eat. The properties in this are nearly identical to HGH, which is a human growth hormone and it works and that's how it works on plants
it really promotes and encourages the plants to grow. I probably do this about every three or four months. I don't do it too often. I think that's all it needs. And then in the other times, I just fertilize normal. I leave all the skin in too, because when you put it around your plants later, your fruit trees, I'm only using them on my fruit trees. It just acts like a bit of mulch over the top and it just slowly breaks down. It makes it just last in the soil a lot longer. You'll find the whole water starts becoming slimy. Just drips and runs a lot heavier. Yeah, you can add this stuff to your juices. Used to always make super juices for my son when he was growing up and his mates when they come over. And I just put a heap of aloe vera in it. Not as much skin because that's a bit bitter. But you scrape out all the gel. And just add it to your fruit juices. Kept in nice and super healthy. He was a national athlete actually. So always pumped heaps of healthy food into him when he was really young. Used to run at nationals. 100 meters, 200 meters. And this is what he grew up on. Aloe vera super juices. Now that I've let that sit there for about an hour or so, just soak it in the water, the next thing I do is I get some Charlie carp. And this has also got seaweed in it. And I just add a little bit of that. Got another bottle inside but that one has lasted me a couple of years believe it or not you don't need much give it a good stir and the only other thing i really add is just trace elements so that's just got all the trace elements that you wouldn't find in a lot of soils water soluble one in a powder form just give that a good stir in that'll just give the aloe vera something to bind to The only other thing you could really put in is just a bit of, um, if you've got some really nice red clay or some special type of um, nice healthy clay rich soil that's got a lot of irons and 
minerals in it as well that you, that you haven't got in your natural ground. I've got plenty of clay down the bottom here, so I'm not too worried about that. But if you, if you had a very sandy soil, you may just want to throw in a handful of, grab a handful of clay from somewhere and just mix it in through your water as well, just to give a few more trace elements in there. And that's really gonna help boost your plant's growth as well. So this is like a super juice, something you'd make for yourself, healthy out of all the fruit juices. But this is for your fruit trees. If you're in an area where you couldn't get any um, fertilizers to add in or some places you just could be poor, you mightn't be able to afford to buy fertilizers. And to add more nitrogen and phosphorus to this, you could actually pee, it, pee in a bucket, believe it or not. You could use your own neuron to add nutrients. Not something you really want to get your hands in though, but once you've mixed it all, mixed it up initially, just put it in at the end and then just bucket it out with a bucket because um, neuron is very high in nitrogen and phosphorus. So that's something that a lot of people in a lot of areas, a lot of poor countries use it, believe it or not, in their gardening and it really helps the growth of their plants. I think it, it's very similar to urea and which urea has got 46% nitrogen content, which is amazing. That's, that's very high in nitrogen. It's probably the highest, highest um, thing you'll find that's got such a high nitrogen level in it. So this is ready now. So all I do now is pour it around the bottom of my plants, all around the base of my fruit trees. So here we go. I'm gonna come over to my pawpaw tree. Doesn't matter if it gets on the main stem at all. And that's it. One of my other pawpaw trees here. Come down to the base. I normally put about a bucket around every fruit tree. One of these little red buckets, which is probably about three liters. This is my pomelo tree, just loaded with pomelos. This is just going to give them an extra boost to grow bigger. Right, at, they should be starting to get ripe in a couple of months. So this will just help them in their last stages of their growth. And also keep the tree nice and healthy. One of my little banana trees bunch of bananas. I'll pour one around the bottom here. Well guys, that's it for today. I'm just going to go around now and just go around to every fruit tree I've got and just load them up with a bucket full of this super juice. And now you can also most people are growing aloe vera already. So you just grab some of the aloe vera and just do what I've done. And it's really gonna help your plants be happy and to grow more abundant, faster, healthier. And at the end of the day, you're gonna end up with more fruit and veggies. Thanks for watching again. I'll talk to you next time, bye.